Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to do this smoky eye. Um, this was a request by a friend a while ago and I've only just got the time to really do it and had all the products with me. Um, so what she wanted was for me to do a smoky eye but a brown one. Now before I get started, um, sorry I was just using my mirror, before I get started a smoky eye doesn't have to be black. Lots of people think that it's that really crazy dark black eye but smoky eye is more of a technique whereas there's a gradient it starts darker at the lash line and just gets lighter um, so you can essentially do it with any color so I'm just gonna do a brown one today but of course feel free to try out with any colors you want um, and I hope you enjoy so first I'm gonna start off with a product this is a makeup forever aqua cream and it's in the color 15 now I want to use this um, because it will help add intensity to the shadows and also help them stay for a lot longer so this is a nice kind of taupe colour but you can use any eyeshadow base you want but I recommend actually using an eyeshadow base and I'm going to get that on a Sigma P86 brush and excuse me if I look this way a bit I have my mirror here so I'm going to load this up on the brush and apply it to my lid. This doesn't have to be particularly um, accurate or neat at this point. The reason why I love this brush so much for doing eyeshadow bases is the tip it has. You can get right into your tear duct and actually under the lash line as well. Because we're going to be putting shadows under that lower lash line so you want to have um, a base there too. Now one thing I would recommend before um, well, when you're doing a smoky eye is to do your foundation your base afterwards because you tend to get quite a lot of dark fallout no matter what products you use. So the next thing I'm going to do is going to take a really dark intense eyeshadow and my favourite eyeshadow for a brown smoky eye is the colour Mekon from NARS which looks like this. Now this is one of the most pigmented colours I've ever come across. I'm not going to swatch it but you're going to see it on my eye when I put it on. It's just it's very intense and what you're going to do is focus that near the lash line I'm going to go halfway to up your lid and you can see how amazing that is so what I'm going to take next is one of my favorite also one of my favorite shadows for creating a brown smoky eye and that's the color tempting from MAC really gorgeous kind of gold brown you can see there um, this can have a bit of fallout so that's why I recommend doing your base afterwards on um, just a quite fluffy brush this is a MAC 226 but anything will do I'm just gonna work that just above um, the Mekong but also blending the, the two together and heading and kind of going up towards the crease. So the next step is to get a really good fluffy blending brush. I'm going to be using a Sigma E25 which is the same as a MAC 217 but any clean, it has to be clean, that's very important otherwise you'll get colour all the way up to your brow, um, blending brush will do. You just want to kind of go back and forth just blending it very softly just so you don't get any harsh lines. So now I'm going to take a short shader brush, or actually it's a, sh what is it, it's a short, yeah, short shader brush E20 from um, Sigma. Any brush that's quite small do to put colour under the lash line. And I'm going to go in for the tempting colour again. And I'm going to bring that all the way from the outer corner to the tear duct. Now how far down you go is up to you. But I like quite a grungy looking smoky eye if I'm going to do one. I don't want it to look perfect. So I know my eye looks a bit of a mess at the moment, but we will clean this up. Um, but to further intensify the Mekong colour at the lash line, I'm going to be using a brown gel liner. You could substitute this for a black one if you want to go a bit darker, but I want to stick to the brown theme. And this is the um, Maybelline gel liner. I'm just going to get that on an angle brush or whatever you like to um, 
do your liner with but this isn't going to be a precise liner it's just going to be kind of just intensifying right at the roots of your lashes so you don't want to make an actual line you just want to darken it up the lashes now while you're doing that you could also use that liner to tight line and to and fill in your waterline but um, I'm just going to go in with my MAC Stub and Brown liner and tight line and waterline. So the last shadow we're going to use is to highlight. I'm going to take this colour vanilla. You want a matte highlight because we have quite a lot of shimmer going on. I'm going to place this just at the highest point of your brow. This will also help you if you've blended your colours too high. Because um, it will help take them down a bit. So now that we've finished with the shadow, I'm going to take a makeup remover wipe and I'm just going to clean up this mess. So now that I've done that, I've just gone in with a bit of foundation under my eye just to um, clean up a bit. I find it when you have such a strong eye, you need to groom your eyebrows and make them look presentable. Well, some I do because my eyebrows are useless, but you don't want to make them too harsh because you've already got your eyes... Um, being quite strong. So I just take the usual colour I'd use on my eyes, I'm using Omega from MAC, but on a fluffier brush and I just kind of just put the colour through just so you get the colour but so you don't get any harshness. Now it's time for mascara and I'm going to be using my favourite at the moment which is the Bourjois Fast and Perfect. This one is the one with the rotating brush. So again, like I said, I quite like a grungy looking smoky eye. If you like it perfect, you're going to want to be a bit more careful, but I don't mind if I get bits here and there. I think it adds to the look. So, like that. So then you're going to want to go in with your concealer and just tidy it up because you don't want any, you want it to look quite bright round the actual eye, otherwise it can make you look very tired. So I'm going in with my Studio Finish Concealer and a Sigma Precision Round Brush, P82, just to tidy it up. And also any problem areas on my face. So now that I've finished the eyes, I'm going to go and finish off my face. So I've done foundation and concealer, and I'm just going to powder my face quickly. And I'm just going to be using my Maybelline Dream Matte Powder and a, and a Kabuki brush. Just a very light application, but just so my foundation doesn't move during the day. Then I'm going to do a bit of blush now. With a smoky eye, you want to be careful with your blush. You don't want to do anything too coloured. You don't want to do anything too bright. Um, so I've chosen my Avon Soft Plum blush. I think this is really nice to go with this one. Very light application. And I'm going to be using my Real, Techni Real Techniques. I can't say that. I seem to mispronounce it in every video. But Real Techniques blush brush. It's going to get a bit on there. You can see I only have a little bit on there, and I'm just going to do it very lightly. You can see I'm just touching my face, only just. Just to get a tiny bit of colour on there, but nothing too extreme. You can use this blush because it's very fluffy, it's not too stiff. You can use it to blend in really well. So lots of people like to contour with a smoky eye, but I'm not going to do that today. I don't think it's always necessary. I just like the focus on my eyes. And also, I'm not going to put anything on my lips. Uh, if you wanted to, um, the best thing to do would be to go a lighter shade, um, just so you still get the focus on your eyes. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope it was helpful. Um, maybe if you're struggling with smoky eyes, or if you wanted some inspiration. And I'll see you soon. Bye.